This video is for you guys with the request of many, many ideas and opinions. I am putting together a toy for Dunbar. I'm going to take my drill. I'm gonna drill a hole in it first. I'm gonna drain the motor oil out of it first. Then I'm going to take the lid off. I'm gonna throw some metal in it, some scrap metal that we have around here. And uh, then I'm gonna weld the top back on. I'm gonna put a chain through it, on it. I really hadn't decided quite yet. And then I'm gonna hang it in a tree. <laughs> Hanging from a tree, B, the best toy for Dunbar. We'll see. I can't believe I'm doing this. I never thought I'd throw toys in the pasture with my bison. Um, <laughs> like a pet, but... Dunbar, he's the, uh, he's the man. He's the dominant bull out here. He's three years old, and he's a He's a really good bull. He needs something to play with. I've had a lot of opinions. I had a lot of requests. Give him something to occupy him, especially during um, the breeding season right in the middle of the rut. He can get a little tense and he, uh, besides loving on his ladies, you know, he's got to show that dominance a little bit. That could be rubbing on a tree branch. It could be, you know, rolling on the ground, beating up a feed trough, flipping gates off the hinges. He can do it all. Good thing is, He's nice to us. Right, buddy. He needs something in the pasture with him. So I got a really good idea that I think will work pretty well. And it has to be something that makes a lot of racket, makes a lot of noise. I got this 50 gallon barrel here. This is what I'm gonna use to make a toy for Dunbar to put in the pasture. Problem though. I don't know if you can hear what's in there, but there's apparently some motor oil stuff still left in here. I'm not going to get the torch out quite yet. I don't think that'll be a good idea. Torch, motor oil, probably not. So uh, we'll see what you guys think. Mainly, you know what? It's really not what we think. It's what Dunbar thinks, and we'll see if it works. Could be a challenge. Took me a minute, but I got it. Got our chain running through here. It was tough getting it out the other side, but luckily I, I got a hold of it. Still see some smoke coming out of there. We're gonna hang this from a tree. I'll load it up. Let's go out in the pasture. just gotta find a limb I think we've got our spot we've got our limb reaching distance we're gonna get it going well there it is guys, there you have it. Dunbar's new toy, homemade right here um, from just leftover ranch stuff, leftover old dairy farm stuff I found around here. The only thing that I bought was a new chain to put up here and some clips, that was it. Now the real question is, is Dunbar gonna like this? I really wanna see if he actually plays with it. I actually wanna see how he responds to it and um, I just want to be here to see it. So let's uh, let's go see if we can find his big butt and get him over here with some cubes.
here they come. Woo, slow down big boy. Come on Dunbar. See what you think. We're super close. Come on. Eleanor. Not sure yet. All right, so no reactions yet. That's okay. I saw, I've noticed a, here recently, he's lost a lot of his um, aggressiveness here just in the past couple weeks. He still flips that one uh, feed trough over, rips the plastic container out of it. Um, so I'm not surprised that he he didn't hit the barrel, but we were gonna give it a shot anyways. We got, we got the herd around here, but just like normal just like they always do they got to check it out first of course they're probably smelling some interesting smells there's nothing on the outside of that container um you know obviously I, I i try to keep all the motor oil inside of it as possible and none on the outside let's just give it a little time and uh you know hopefully he turns it into a toy maybe not now but sometime later he will